Hello, my friends. Welcome to week three of online learning with Miss Rogerio. Um, welcome to our morning meeting. If you are at home with their sibling or just by yourself or with whoever you live with at home, we're going to start off by doing our regular morning meeting song. So feel free to just sit and listen and think about our morning meeting and how we always sing Juju on the beat. Or you can dance along and sing along just like we always do. Okay, awesome job. All right, so this week, um, it's April now, a new month, okay? And our habit of the month is now habit number one, be proactive, which means to take responsibility for your life, okay? So this habit comes at a great time because it is especially important right now to be taking responsibility for our own life. So if you're not sure what being proactive means, it essentially means you're in charge. I take initiative, which means I'm alert for when I need to do the right thing. I am a responsible person. I am putting first things first. I choose my actions, attitudes, and moods. It is so, so easy right now because we are inside to see the glass half empty. Which means we can think, oh, we're trapped inside. We can't see our friends. We can't go to school. We can't do anything fun. We can't um, go anywhere or see anyone and just have a really, really negative mindset. But it's also really easy to turn that into a positive mindset. Thinking about things like, hey, my family is healthy. I'm healthy. I have a house or an apartment or somewhere to stay where I am safe from the outside. I have a family and I get to be with them for this time and build relationships with them. I can always call my friends on the phone. I get to go to school online and learn new ways of learning instead of being in the classroom. So you can always think about how to be positive during this time where a lot of things can be seemingly negative. I do not blame others for my wrong actions and I do the right thing without being asked. So what I think about when I hear habit number one, be proactive, is to make a plan. I love to set my week up for success. Okay, so if I know that, hey, it's a four, four day week because we don't have school on Friday for a religious holiday. But it's a four day week and I have math and science and ELA and lead time and a couple other things to do and I still want to play outside and spend time with my family and maybe watch some movies or be on TikTok, I'm gonna make a plan for my week so that I can get everything done. I can do it with a positive attitude. Um, I can have a positive mood throughout the week and a happy mood and I can be responsible and really take initiative for my own life. So this week, what I want you to do on Monday or on Tuesday is I want you to make a schedule for your week. What is your week going to look like? And every single person is going to have a different schedule, okay? And that's all right. So this is just an example of one schedule I made. I know it's a little sloppy, but I put Monday through Friday. Um, and it's technically a four-day week because we don't have school on Friday. But because we're, on, we're doing online learning right now, your week might look different. Um, from mine. So this is just an example. Maybe during the morning time you do some math just a little bit each day until it's done and then on Thursday you do some eye ready and then um, in the afternoon after you have lunch or a snack you do ELA for a little bit until it's done. So just a little bit each day. 
Now, that's one schedule, but another schedule may look like this. On Monday and Tuesday, you only do math until it's done. And then on Wednesday and Thursday, you do ELA. And then maybe Friday, you fit in some iReady or you do iReady on the weekends. That's the second schedule. Third schedule may look like this. On Monday, you do all of your ELA. You get it all done. You check in with Miss Price. On Tuesday, you can play outside and read a book and hang out. On Wednesday, you do all of your math. Maybe you join Miss Ruggiero's Zoom meeting and you check in with her and say hello. You hand in all your work. On Thursday, you hang out. And then on Friday, there's no school, but you decide you're going to get all your reading and math I ready minutes done. And then the weekend is free. So those are all different schedules. And here are some things that you might want to put in your schedule. Have you communicated with me in Edsmere Zoom? Have you gotten 45 minutes of iReady math in a 70% pass rate? Have you done the assigned lesson on iReady for math? Have you done your math Nearpod and quiz? Have you done your science sway and quiz? Have you played outside? And have you done ELA work for Ms. Price and checked in with her? These are all really, really important things that you want to add to your schedule. So these three schedules that you make, they're personalized to you. As long as you're getting your work done, it doesn't matter to me or Ms. Price when you do it as long as it's handed in on time. So it's important that you are proactive this week, that you take initiative and that you're responsible for your own learning and you set your week up for success. So what I want you to do is I want you to make a schedule just like this, however you want to schedule these things into your week. And I want you to send me a picture of it on Edsby. That will tell me that you are being proactive and you are taking initiative and setting your week up for success. Talk to you soon and make sure you communicate with me this week. Bye.